All right, guys, what's up? Um, <clears throat> so I was going to do a quick unboxing of the uh, new TVCom VB from Freedcon. So <clears throat> uh, I, uh, I've never unboxed anything before. This isn't an unboxing channel, but I figured we'd do it really quick uh, and painfully get through this process. So Hopefully I'm still in the shot. I may have to move the camera around a few times to uh, ensure that. Yeah, I'm using the hood of my car because as you guys have already seen, my, my garage is still not completely put together. And uh, so as a result, I don't have a workbench. Anyhow, so uh, let's get started here. Um, so I don't remember exactly all the uh, features that this specific model I got ha has or or should have all I really care about is the fact that I can make and receive phone calls through it but I do know that it can pair to other devices um, the range here has three different ranges listed I don't know I don't know what it is and and frankly I don't care too much because I, I do all my rides are solo rides so um, that doesn't really bother me whatever the range happens to be. It's a nice to have though, you know. Um, you might want to take a take a look at uh, this product. I'll put the link um, from the Amazon store that I bought it from uh, down below so that you have a chance to maybe check it out if you're interested in the same product. Uh, that said, there are other products that are available that are probably better than this particular product. Um, <clears throat> but I didn't want to go whole hog on um, I'm one of those without kind of knowing what I was getting into. And secondly, um, I end up, I'm going to end up getting a new helmet eventually. Anyway, um, this helmet I have is just an old DOT helmet. It's several years old and, uh, eventually I'm going to be getting a new helmet. So, and there's a good chance that the helmet I buy might have an integrated intercom system. So there are companies that do that. Matter of fact, HJC, which is the helmet I have they do or did make a helmet with an integrated um, intercom system. So um, anyways, that said, let's just get on with it. So we'll just take it out of the box. Kind of has a nice little um, magnetic lid. You can kind of hear, oh, I promise this isn't unboxing therapy, but it's what it is. We'll get through this. Yeah. Uh, just satisfied customer junk. Here's an instruction manual. Yeah, we don't need that. And then uh, this is the clip that might go on the outside of the helmet. I'm going to be mounting this on the left-hand side. So this part will go outside like that. Uh, and this little thingy here, this part of it, you unscrew with a couple Allens. Yeah, those are Allens. And then you just clamp it on and it just it uses tension to hold it onto the side of the helmet wherever you decide to place it. And uh, I'm going to have to be kind of strategic with this. And let's see, we actually have the, the, the uh, unit itself, which I'm almost 100% certain is not charged. It's probably got the shipping charge in it, which is the, uh, if you're not familiar with that, lithium ion batteries usually have uh, a, a a sustaining charge to keep the uh, battery from from going bad um, so it's just enough to keep it uh, keep it good to go I, I assume you know I could probably get it paired to the phone and all that stuff um, with that charge but I do want I am going to want to charge it and so just to kind of give you an idea this this actually clips on to the outside of the helmet onto this dude right here so let's see if I can get it to Good to work. Yep, there it goes. It's on. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. And then removing it, it's just got this little clip here. And take it off. Man, they, the, those people that do unboxing videos, my hat's off to you. This is hard. I'm like contorted to try and see myself and make sure I'm centered on the camera. And I know I kind of keep moving this way. It's because I'm really uh, favoring my left leg to be able to do all this. So. Anyhow, all right, so that's that. We'll put those here on the windshield. Um, that's my shelf. Yeah, that's what that is. Then we have the uh, the speakers and the 
microphone. And this helmet comes with some uh, provisions for mounting all this internally. It has some cutouts in the ears and then um, a, a Velcro strip. Um, I guess I'm supposed to say a, uh, what is it? Hook and, oh crap. I don't remember what the, uh, the official name of this product is called, but hook and loop. That's it. Something like that. Hook and loop product. Um, so that you can mount the microphone in the front. <clears throat> and, oh, I did want to say one of the reasons I specifically got the Freedcon, uh, product was because even the higher end stuff lacked the flexible mic. They didn't have this. And um, they all had a boom mic. Well, I don't, I don't want a boom mic because it'd be too close to my face. Matter of fact, it'd probably be up in my schnoz the entire time I'm riding. I don't want to deal with that. So this is more flush and uh, more, you know better. And even the ones that had the smaller mic like this still had a metal boom, even though they all said that they were you know meant for full face helmets. For those of you out there who have those and do have them installed in your full face helmets. Uh, please let me know how you feel about them in the comments below. Um, I just didn't want to risk spending money on something I didn't uh, didn't necessarily want and may end up having to return anyway. So there's all that. It does. Oh, here's the charging cable. Um, put that over here. And some Velcro. Oh, wait, the hook and loop stuff. So these are some stickies that you just put inside your helmet. And, um, you know, mount the, uh, the, the ear pieces where they need to go, which in this helmet's case, I'm going to have to figure that part out to get it just right. I'm not sure just how much room I'm going to have in there. Here's the, uh, stickies for the mouthpiece. I don't need these because my helmet came with it. And then looks like we have, oh, this is kind of neat. Uh, instead of hooking it to the inside of the helmet, I could use uh, this double-sided uh, tape, I guess. This is heat, this adhesive and stick it to the outside of the helmet, just like that. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking that the uh, clamp is going to be a better situation for me. And then here is the Allen that it comes with to be able to do all the rest. And I told you that it did come with a uh, boom mic, but I was wrong. I thought that it did. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that the package, and even on Amazon, it showed that, that it came with two microphones. And uh, yeah, whatever, I guess I was wrong. Yeah, this is what I was looking at. Um, So it says either or on this. So maybe I maybe I purposely chose. Yeah, I could see a small check mark right there. So it is either or. Um, and luck, lucky for me, I got the right one because that would have sucked to have ended up with that and uh, not been able to use it and sending it back. So, okay, good. All right, I'm happy. It's fine. It's fine. Also, um, <clears throat> I just noticed this in the phone. It's got this cutout for a charger. So it does not come with a charger, but that doesn't bother me. I've got plenty of cell phone chargers laying around that I can use. I can even use my laptop or computer and plug the USB in and it'll just slow charge it. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Uh, we'll just slam all this stuff back in that I'm not going to use right away or maybe even ever and um, put all this back. And then we'll just do a, a time lapse of installing it on the... Uh, on the helmet and um, we'll see how that goes. I've never done a time lapse before, so this might be painful. This part's probably painful for you guys, for you guys. So um, yeah, I apologize. All right, here we go.
connected. Um, things are looking good. I had to reroute the wiring a couple times um, to get things the way I wanted them. Um, <clears throat> so let's try it on and see how this fits. And uh, hopefully all is well. Oh yeah, yeah, I dig it. Yeah, this is nice. Let me go ahead and uh, strap this completely in. See what it's like. Yeah, it's uh, it's good. Uh, I thought that I would feel a lot of pressure on my ears um, from the the ear pieces. Nothing. Uh, Got it, uh, I got it right. I don't feel the microphone. It's probably, I don't know, maybe three quarters of an inch away from my lower lip. And uh, I don't sense that my beard is rubbing on the mic, which could be a problem. Um, so uh, yeah, this is great. Uh, let me, um, let me pause the camera and uh, I'm gonna make a quick phone call to my wife and see how. All right, it works. guys, we're back. Um, so I got uh, got a phone call in. Things are good. I have a fan down here that uh, I used to simulate just being on the road and um, get some wind noise going. Uh, my wife could hear some of the wind noise, but but in terms of call quality, clarity, etc., things were good. Uh, this helmet kind of squeezes my cheeks a little bit, but. <clears throat> Um, anyhow, yeah, I mean, it was good. I even, uh, pulled up my, uh, music app and played some music in the, in the helmet and it was okay. I mean, it's not like wearing legitimate earbuds or something like that. Um, let me pull the helmet off real quick so you can hear me a little bit better. But in terms of, you know, the overall quality, I like it. Um, the controls are different. So you spin this wheel backward to you know go volume up and then so clockwise to uh to increase volume and counterclockwise to decrease volume and the same thing happens for skipping a track so i guess you just tap it one time to skip a track and one time to go back to the beginning of the track or maybe twice to go further back um the uh if i were to critique anything the charging Port, which you know is right here this cable that connects to the microphones and ear but ear pieces um, it's it's uh, I forget what type of micro USB it is I think it's type uh, whatever it is it's it's not I'll have to bring an extra charging cable with me on trips and that kind of stinks um, in terms of you know ease of use that isn't a deal, you know, a showstopper or anything like that, but it's okay. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching my video and enduring to the end, so to speak. And uh, I hope that uh, you enjoy what I'm sharing with you guys. I hope you stick around. Please subscribe, and if you like the video, like it. If not, you know what to do. Um, until then, keep it between the ditches, and peace out.